All right. Which beer do you want to start with? What do we got? We've got Dark of the Moon, Elysian Stout. We have Ru Rubens? Rubens Brews Unbound Series Autumn Harvest, which is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. We have Elysian's Night Owl, super common. And we have a Nitro Pumpkin Spice Latte. Oh, which one should we start with? Light to dark, dark to light. Let's go with the ales. Okay. And the coffee ones. Last. Last. Okay. So let's refrigerate these. Well, we only have two glasses, so we should start with we'll start with that one first. Yes. We'll start with Elysian. Okay. I was gonna let you choose a country for a bottle opener. America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do the honors. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pour this one up. All right. So Night Owl is supposed to be. It's a pumpkin ale that is brewed with pumpkin. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, that's a pretty even pour. All right. Let's see the bottle here. So we have Night Owl pumpkin ale. They are original, brewed with pumpkin, roasted, and raw pumpkin seeds, spiced in conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. 6.7% alcohol by volume. There we go. There it is. All right, so what are we looking for when we're tasting these? What are you looking for? What am I looking for? A good, well-balanced flavor, I think. Not too malty, not too, not malty, too hoppy. Not too hoppy, but also... Not too pumpkin. Not too pumpkin yet, but having pumpkin in it as well. So yeah. You taste that. I want to taste the nutmeg, okay. and I want to taste the allspice. I want it to kind of taste like a pumpkin pie, but not as sweet. Okay. I want like a, a little bitter pumpkin pie. Pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not like super sugary. All right. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. It's really light. It's, it's not very, very carbonated, but it's like. It's really pumpkin forward. Like the first thing that I tasted was the pumpkin. Oh yeah, it's like the flavor is it's like you cut into a pumpkin. Yeah, kind of and you smell it like when you're carving. Like but as it as it sits, you start to taste the, the, the cinnamon. Yeah, the cinnamon that make the malt. So it, it tastes like it tastes like a pie. It tastes like a pie. Yeah. yeah. Like you were cutting a, if you were carving a pumpkin and eating a pie at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it That's does have a like it smells like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. It smells like. It smells like warm pumpkin, like when you roast, like a pumpkin, like if you've ever like taken your leftovers from your carvings and like roasted them, like the little chunks you cut out, you can like roast those and eat them, like a squash, like sweet potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it smells like, like warm, like it's not warm, but it smells warm, oh. like an inviting. It doesn't taste like a 6% beer. No, it doesn't. It tastes like a four. It's really light. Yeah, it's really, really light and well balanced. So what do you think on drinkability? How many of these could you drink in an hour? Five. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I could probably sit around three, like, and without feeling really heavy. Like, I didn't say I wouldn't get drunk, but I, I could <laughs> Well, I mean, without mind. feeling heavy. Heavy, like, okay. I mean, it's it's drinkable. Like, it's something I could sit and have a chat and yeah, easily yeah. drink. Five, I wouldn't regret regret an eating. Regret. Regret. I wouldn't regret an I think it's a good it's a good solid. It's it's their original. I think it's the, probably the most popular. I see it every year. Um, the bars that tend to have pumpkin ales tend to have a night owl. Yeah. That's true. I mean, we are in the Pacific Northwest, and this is a legion. This is like a Seattle. This is the Seattle brewery. Yeah, yes, definitely. Um, and it's got a cool bottle. Like, the labels are nice. The art is always nice on the vision. Has an experience by date instead of an expired by yes. date. <laughs> so good. this is an experience? Yes. So it's an experience. Everything's an experience. And it, it has a, like, it has good head retention. Yeah, like it's, it's got, it clearly has enough proteins in it to keep the... Is that, what, is that what keeps the head up? Yeah, that's why a oatmeal stout has that nice frothy head on it, but it's, it's got that creamy sort of mouthfeel. Okay. From those. That's from, that's from protein? The, the protein that you get, you get from the, from the oatmeal. The oats. 
Men don't oats have protein. Yeah. Probably we're just a carbohydrate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sub scientist diet. <laughs> yeah, protein. So what so what would that be in here? They'd be doing that the pumpkin? It might be. I'm not hundred percent sure. Actually. It could be the malt they use as well. It's really it's not very hoppy. No, no, no. I don't taste hops at all. It's it's malty and pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, it's, pumpkin beer. it's a good solid beer. I yeah. think I I enjoy it. It's one of my favorites actually. Mm-hmm. This one is probably my favorite local one. Um because it's easy to find, it's easy to drink, it's not heavy. I don't feel like I need to take a nap after I finish it. Yeah, yeah Um and it's it's enjoyable. It also doesn't leave a coating in your mouth. Like I can taste it for like thirty seconds after I drink it, but I don't taste it like half an hour later. Yeah, so like it slowly dissolves back to your mouth. And yeah. Back your throat and it doesn't like sit back here forever. Yeah, it doesn't hang out your tongue. It doesn't through. have that really bittery, yeah. bitter. Yeah, thing. definitely. All right, out of five, what do you give it? Out of five. Out of five. I'll give it three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> I was going to say I'll, also, I'll give it about four. So, okay. um, so I'll set that one. Right there for now. Okay. So, should we move on to our next one? Yep. All right. All right. What was next? Rubens? Rubens, yes. Rubens was next. You let me get my uh, Texas all over? Sure, sure. So it's another netter. This is another. A netter. This is another Seattle brewery. Ruben's Brewers. Is it Seattle, Seattle, or is it Pacific Northwest? Because a lot of times they say Seattle and they mean like Renton yeah, or ever. That's true. It's Ballard. Ballard. That's Seattle. Yeah, it's North Seattle. It's All right. You want, to, you want to cure this one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My. Uh, Sweet today. My old pouring skills here. And this is a 22, so we can do a little bit more for glass here. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. (laughs) I'm not, but I feel like it. (laughs) I still feel 12. (laughs) All right, fine, go for it. It's a little too much head, I think. think That's that's actually, that's standard. That's standard? I don't like that much head. Look at it, it's settled down. You settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> There's a little bit left in there, but we'll, we'll, uh, it's mostly. Okay. Ooh, let me have the bottle, please. Let's give this little description here. What do they got on the bottle? Um, no, I kind of like reading it. I think it's kind of good. All right. Soft, rich malt provides a showcase for pumpkin supported by a subtle nuttiness. Spice notes complement the rich pumpkin mouthfeel, perfect for cold, crisp fall days. What's a pumpkin feel like in your mouth? So, soft? <laughs> Squishy? Kind of, well, roasted pumpkin is kind of. I guess, but. Like baby food. Yeah, but you say there's a pumpkin in your mouth. I don't think I can that's, put that in my mouth. That's too much in your mouth. <laughs> it's a bit too much. <laughs> it's supposed to feel soft and rich. Okay, so. So, whatever. Creamy, creamy pumpkin. Whatever soft and rich means. Eventually, they're just going to cover my face because I'm so short. I'm just going to get covered by pumpkin <laughs> Death by pumpkin ale. Okay, right. so with this one, we're looking for a richer flavor than the last one. So this should be a heavier body ale, right? Like, that's kind of what they were describing. It's yeah. a little more oomph. Mm-hmm. Oomph. Okay. Where's your mouth feel? All right. So, Skull. So Give a good sniff. It doesn't smell as much like nutmeg as the other one. pumpkin smell it, right? it doesn't have the... It doesn't taste like pumpkin. See what you think, because it doesn't... I don't get pumpkin from it. No. It's earthy, which is kind of nice. Not I'm, like it tastes like dirt, it's, but it's it's earthy. Like it's malty. That is that what it is? Like, yeah, it's malty. There's a slight bitterness at the aftertaste. Yeah, it's a little more. It's a little less pumpkin pie y, yeah. which they didn't say that it was. There's no. not the nutmeg in here. Like there. That's true. I it was think, not I spice. think it didn't say nutmeg. Um. It doesn't say anything about nutmeg. Subtle nuttiness. So maybe that's the nutmeg. Is the nuttiness. Or did they use some acorn squash in here for the nuttiness? It could be just in the malt. Yeah. 
Okay. Because it, it tastes almost like they used a more of an amber malt for it. Okay. It does look more like an amber yeah. than an ale. In that color. Yeah, it's pretty brown. Brown red. Hmm. Yeah. It does say fruit in Seattle, their tasting rooms in Ballard. Okay. Um, That's where I've been. The about. tasting room? I haven't been up there yet. I think it doesn't smell as strong. Like, I don't. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of. There's a little bit in there as it sits. You know? It almost doesn't smell like anything. Like, it smells like beer. Like, yeah, there's a, but there's a bit of a. a more um, vegetable sort of. That's scent what I said. It tastes like earth. Like, it's earthy. Like, yeah. it, it's like an, a nondescript squash. Like a spaghetti squash doesn't have a whole strong, a lot of strong flavor. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It's kind of it's more of a squash than a. It's not bad though. It's yeah, just it's not, not bad. I wouldn't if you gave me this without it being in the bottle, and just said here's a beer. I would not guess this was a pumpkin ale. It's a nice amber ale. Yeah. But I don't get pumpkin. I don't even get fall. Yeah, not really. Like it's a nice amber. I can ale. actually see this in like. Something during the winter. Yeah, winter or <clears throat> end of summer because yeah. it's not heavy. What's the percentage on this one? Because our first one was six and a half percent or six point seven. This guy is eight point seven percent. Ooh. This is a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. Jesus. Oh, it's a pint. It's not a twenty-two. I lied. It's a pint. It's twenty. It's. It's a pint. It's not. It's it doesn't one. say if it's a UK or US it's pint. No. One pint, point, whatever. <laughs> it just says one pint, right up there. We should sit here and argue about bottles. This is unbound. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> one pint, six ounces. Oh, I can read. <laughs> so it is a 22. Yeah. <laughs> That's my poster. <laughs> it is a 22, I'm just done. Or that 8% hitting me already. I will give it that. It doesn't taste like an 8%. No, no, no. Like, That's, that, that's pretty not. surprising. It kind of like the other one, I would have, it tastes a little stronger, I would have guessed the around a five and a half percent. No, the aftertaste actually, now that I'm drinking more, it tastes a lot more like a, like a German, like a German, mm. um, almost like a doppel, like a German lager, like a doppelbach almost, not like a doppelbach, but just a straight German lager, just a lager. German lager, it's got that okay. very light flavor, but it hits you with some bitter at the end. Margaret's fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Go away. Ruining my show. Okay. Anyway, so what do you think? What do you give it? Three and a half. Three and a half? I like you it know, a little less. Put it right where I put. It. Yeah, because I would. The well, opera? okay, wait, wait. Am I am I rating it on pumpkin ale or am I rating it on right now, drinkability pumpkin and ale? Pumpkin ale. This is pumpkin ale. I give it a two for a pumpkin ale because it's not pumpkin. I'll agree with you. Okay. If you just want me to rank yeah. it on an ale, I we're give gonna go with two. I'm gonna better. go with a two as far as the ales. Right there. Okay, so is this like our low end and this is our high end? Yeah. Okay. I. You're in the high end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be special. Um, All right. Okay. Yes. I guess we finish. Say I good. can't down it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's an eight and a half percent ale, and you gotta drive home later. I got time. I'm making you dinner, I yeah. guess. <laughs> <clears throat> I am slower to finish beers, and yeah, we'll uh, we've got like two more now, so. Uh, Maybe we'll take a quick break so yeah. I can finish this one for the next one. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. All right, intermission. Okay, so what are we looking for in a nitro stout? Well, if it's nitro, it's got to be creamy, right? Okay, it's got to be creamy. you got to have that, that creamy kind of Guinness texture. Yeah, it should kind of be like a Guinness. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want a little bit of a coffee. It says it's yeah. got coffee. I want it to taste like... I want it to taste like a pumpkin spice latte. Mm -hmm. That's what it says it is. However, it is. So this is a stout. It's a stout. No stout. It's a no stout. So what's the percentage on it? The percentage. Let's see what it even says. It should they always they, they have to say. No, yeah. actually, for a while it was illegal. To for a while it was illegal to put it on there because they thought people would choose beers based, based on how um, their percentage. Which actually, even with them on there, some people do choose based on percentage because some people purposefully choose lighter beers. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they were thinking. I don't see it. It's gotta be on. What? You might be. Did you get it? No, I got it. <laughs> I don't see it on here either, actually. Oh, there it is. Teeny tiny at the top. Right there. 
It is 5.5%. So a typical... Yeah, this is a standard beer. Yeah. A standard stout. Nothing crazy. It's not like... It's not like this, this guy. <laughs> or our guy in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's uh, go with a nice slancha since okay. we're doing a stout. Slancha. That is so smooth. Like... It tastes like it feels the mouthfeel on it is like water. Like it's just yeah, it's really really smooth. Really smooth. I don't get a lot of coffee. It's not a lot of carbonation. There's it's yeah. It's not carbonation. That's not a lot of nitrogenation. <laughs> uh, I don't taste coffee. It's not real aromatic. It's not. It's not bubbly and fizzy like you'd expect. There's a flavor to it that I can't pinpoint. It's not coffee though. It's. It doesn't taste like a normal style. I wouldn't. I see the weird thing that hit me first uh, when I first my first drink on it the, when it first hit my tongue the weirdest thing is I tasted peppers. Yeah, that's what it is. It yeah. tastes like pepper. But then clean the glasses for it. Yeah. <laughs> but then it it uh it faded away to like a watery coffee. It does kind of taste like a watery coffee, mm -hmm. like a bad cold brew. Like you didn't like you cold brewed, <laughs> yeah. but you didn't really know how to cold brew. Yeah, yeah. Like. It could be because we like our coffee really, really strong. Like, we will put double or triple the recommended amount of coffee grounds into our coffee co grind, yeah, uh, coffee pots because uh, we like... We're from we're from the Seattle area. For, we for like about, for about coffee. five years there in college, I just drank straight espresso. So there's that. Yeah. We're <laughs> coffee drinkers. So when you say something is coffee, I expect... Coffee. Coffee. I want that good roasted, warm scent to it and I, I don't even get any spices mm -hmm. to this. It's really mild on the spice. It says frothy on the top. It does. This However, this is holding really there nice. There is one issue. Aesthetically it's really pleasing. Is it is a stout we're probably not drinking it at the proper temperature because this is out of the fridge. Mm. It's a little cold for a stout. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt now. It could what temperature should you drink a stout at? 45? 50? You want about 55 to 60. Okay, so, so warmer than I expected. Warmer, but cooler than room temperature. I... To get the, the malty character out of it. Yeah, the almost room temperature was just... Six, we yeah. get more head. Yeah, yeah. I... How many of these could you drink in an hour? I forgot to ask you in the last one, so I'll ask you in this one. How many of these would you happily drink in an hour? Not could you, because I know you could... If you wanted to, you could just down I'll see one. I think I could do one. And I feel like I drank a loaf of bread. Because yeah, it's, it's stout. And it's, stouts always do that to me. It's really heavy, but it doesn't And the have... first time I got you drunk, you got drunk on stout. Yeah. So you have a... He has a limit to stouts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is definitely... The reason is because it... It's not... It, it reminds me of like a, a habanero or a sculpin when you first drink, and drink it. You get this weird flavor of... Yeah, like the, those, um, those should have been I'm good. I'm not sure why I'm weren't. getting pepper. Yeah. I, I like the hot mm -hmm. It's spicy and it tastes like cheesy peppery bread. Yeah. However, that's not what I'm expecting out of a pumpkin latte. Right? I wanted a latte. Or it's a pumpkin or spice pumpkin. latte. I don't get any pumpkin. You get I'm, any not pumpkin. Getting any, I'm not getting any spice. I don't get any spice. There's no nutmeg. There's no clove. There's no allspice. There's I'm, no cinnamon. There's no... I, what spice was in here? Because I'm getting the, I don't taste any First, I'm getting the flavor of day-old coffee. Yeah, that's what it is. It's day old coffee. Oh my gosh. Like when you accidentally leave your coffee cup in the truck and think that that's the one from that day. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I know about this one. I'm disappointed. Me too. I expected more. I expected more. And I'm a little, I'm a little put out. <laughs> it broke my heart. I expected so much more. I, what do you give it on our pumpkin ale scale? That's a one. That's a one. <laughs> That's a one. That's a big old one. This is However, not a good boy. This is our opinion. It's, yeah, it's our opinion. This is just our stupid opinion. If I was, if I was to like recommend beers to my friends, and I like nitro beers and I recommend them a lot, I would not recommend this one. And having lived in the UK for the last six years, I was constantly telling people to try pumpkin ales, and I was bringing them over with me. I'd come over for like... Christmas and a friend of ours would keep some pumpkin ales aside for me and I'd bring them back because they don't be available at the times that I wasn't here. We'd bring them back and make everyone try them and be like, look, they're actually really good. This is not one I would bring back. This is... Blasphemy. 
this offends me <laughs> on like a deep level. I am like a, I'm a basic bitch. I love pumpkin in fall. I don't love this. I don't love it. I don't love it. Breckenridge, I hope you do better good things. Better good things. Better good things. <laughs> I hope you do other things, things that are better, better because this is, this is not okay. I've had, a, this should other, not be called I, a pumpkin. I have had their other beers and they are good. I haven't. But this one is. This is my first Breckenridge. I this think. one. I may have had other ones. I don't know. Yeah, this one did. Has Joey this, brought us Breckenridge before? I think so. Probably. But this one definitely disappoints. This is disappointing. Mm -hmm. I feel let down. I'm gonna finish it, <laughs> but I feel let down. But it's gonna finish it. All right. On that note, uh, let's take a quick break so we can clean some glasses and do our next, do our final, which is our piece de resistance, expensive boy beer. Yeah. Ready for our last one? Our fancy boy? Yeah, we'll do that. We got a big fancy boy. Elysian. Another Elysian. Dark O the Moon. With a nice little werewolf boy. Let's uh pull a good Sweden bottle opener. From Gothenburg. Did you see that trick? <laughs> I guess I'll pour this one. Yeah, you can pour that one. Yeah. I poured two. Yeah, you did pour two. Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. Yeah. Chocolate and cinnamon. Hopefully this heavy one is actually a heavy one. And actually tastes like a stout. Because that one just tasted like weird. Gross beer. Slash oh, yeah, that. That is... Heady. That is some head. It looks like chocolate milk. Mm. Can I have the bottle so I can do the read? No. Please? <laughs> Obviously not. Alright. Pumpkin Stout. Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout is spookily, spookily smooth and cinnamon. chocolatey with a touch of cinnamon. You can smell both of those. Just right after that. Pour carefully. Dark of the Moon is unfiltered and may contain sediment. Did you pour it carefully or did you just... Sediment's a good thing. I don't, I don't want to grit. <laughs> it ain't gritty. It's just All right. yeast. Uh, oh, and there's a little thing about their brew house in Legion. They first opened in 1996, so not quite, not quite 30 yet. Older Younger than, than you, I'm yeah. Older than them. Yeah. The okay. <laughs> We're both older than Legion, so that's a thing. We'll just put that there, and I'm, I'm actually not being obscured by beer yet, completely. No, because it's going that way. Okay. Um, get a good old skull off of this one. Bad color. Oh, okay, so what are is we looking for color? in a stout? Uh, black, black is the absence it's, it's, of color. Or, actually, it's all colors. It's no, white. white. Well, isn't white all colors? No, white is the reflection of all colors. Yes. You're right. Yes. I remember. White is light. White black is light. Black is the absence of light. Absence of light. So it's all, it absorbs all colors. Yep. Because the color you see is actually the color reflected. Mm -hmm. So leaves are green because they reflect green. Yep. That's why they turn red. Yellow and yeah. fall. Anyway, what are you looking for when you drink a good stout? That creaminess and that malty bite. Okay, so what we were looking for before? Yes, however, this is. Pumpkin are you stout. looking for a pumpkin? I want, I want pumpkin, cinnamon, and chocolate, just like they say. Alright. That's what I want to taste from this. I want, in that order, pumpkin, cinnamon, and then chocolate on the, on the tail end. <laughs> That's gonna be loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want pumpkin on the tail end, or do you want pumpkin, or sorry, chocolate on the tail end, or do you want chocolate in the middle? Chocolate on the tail. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's give a good old slant again. Okay. Mm. I actually get chocolate all the way through, but not in cinnamon on the end. Yeah. Uh, I started talking, and then suddenly cinnamon. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> I can see why. Ten dollars a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's an expensive beer. That's <laughs> uh, an expensive beer. That's like more than I spent on a bottle of wine. Yeah, but it's like sixteen loaves of bread in there, so really, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> yeah, this could sustain you for a while. Yeah. Let's uh, check out the percentage here while we're having a drink. Where are you? Seven and a half percent. We've got some heavy boys today. Oh yeah. So seven and a half. Um, so let's remember this was five point six point seven. This was. 8 point, what? 8.7. That makes me think I was wrong on this one. 
Yes. 6.5? 6.5. 6.5, 8.7. 5.5. 5.5. 7.5. Right? Yes. Okay. So not our highest, but near the highest. And it doesn't taste like alcohol. Like, I don't get it that sometimes when you get really strong beers, like okay. IPAs, like Imperial IPAs and stuff, what you I, get what, a bite yeah, of what, alcohol. What I like to do with, with that is to test to see if there's alcohol is to take a drink. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe in while it's in your mouth. Breathe in while it's in your mouth, swallow mm -hmm. and then breathe out with your mouth closed, and you'll, you'll sounds, feel the alcohol come back through your nose. Sounds like too much of a process for me. Try it. <laughs> Alright, so drink, hold, swallow, swallow, exhale, okay. through your nose, okay. through your mouth. Okay, there's a bit of alcohol in the end. But not like, some beers I've had that are like seven or eight, it's like taking a shot of vodka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, apologies for our technical difficulties. Um, first video, bear with this. Okay, so I think when our video cut off, we were discussing, um, Chocolatiness, probably. I think so. Probably. Probably. So it's it's chocolatey. It tastes like dark chocolate. It's very chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like dark chocolate. And you get those coffee notes that you get in a dark chocolate. Before. Yeah, what dark chocolate it? and coffee are very similar flavors. Yeah. Which is why I think if you like coffee, you like dark chocolate. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think you get the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Don't get any pumpkin. The pumpkin's real light. Do you get it? There I'm, is some of it in there. I can. All I smell is chocolate and cinnamon. Like, I got a chocolate and habanero truffle from Sweet Necessities in Utah. Okay. Tasted like this. Yeah, I can see that. It. The spice. Well, it wasn't that spicy. Yeah. <laughs> it tasted kind of like this. Like, it tasted like cinnamon and dark chocolate. Like it, which is what this tastes like. It's good, mm -hmm. but it's a pumpkin ale. I like it's super a pumpkin. really good ale. Mm -hmm. I will probably drink the rest of this bottle tonight. Yeah, you can't really pair pumpkin with chocolate because the chocolate will just overpower the pumpkin. Yeah, I think that's a problem with doing chocolate with things. Is chocolate overpowers, especially dark chocolate, overpowers oh, yeah. like and everything. Especially when you're putting that dark chocolate with a bunch of dark malts, which already have a chocolate in them to begin with. So I, it's probably a little overkill. Uh, yeah. For getting the, the chocolateiness or the pumpkininess. Is it worth ten dollars a bottle? I don't know. I don't know either. Like once a year, I guess maybe I'll spend ten dollars on this bottle, but only if I'm going to share it with someone. Because the thing is, is I'm such a slow stout drinker that I'm going to pour myself half a glass of this. Oh, that would go flat. But that's what we're doing. I, Exactly. It's going to go warm. Or if I'm carrying this around in a barbecue, which is typically how I like to drink 22 ounce beers, is carrying them around in my hand in a barbecue. They go warm, they go flat, because I only buy nice beers in the big bottles. And I'm... I mean, how long did it take me to finish that last one at Zach's? <laughs> like, that was the whole day. That was the whole day. It's <laughs> a lot of beer. It's, it's a lot of liquid. Yeah, it it's, it's not like I'm a... I'm not a lightweight. No. We all know I'm not a lightweight, but... Certain beers just take me a while to finish, especially if I'm enjoying the flavor, I'm going to spread it out. So I would say this is a beer that I could only finish maybe one in an hour if I was trying. But mostly I'm going to talk and this, I'm going to yeah, hold on to it. It's going to go warm mm -hmm. and that's how beer, I'm going to drink this it. This is one you savor. Yeah. This is so, one that I would... But that's the thing is, if I'm going to buy something to share, I'll spend $10 a bottle on it. Yeah, definitely. So I... Treat it like a bottle of wine. Yeah, I'm gonna like share this out to three people. We're gonna split it between us because this is a dessert. Yeah. This tastes like a dessert. Oh yeah. Like right. if I were to like compare it's this to really wines, heavy. this is a dessert wine. This is the dessert wine of beer. This is a dessert beer. Yeah. yeah. This is something I would have with like a, a small piece of brownie or ice cream or. Yeah. I wouldn't have it with a cheese dessert. I wouldn't have any of these with a cheese dessert. Which is good for cooking. Dessert. Well. It could be good for cooking. What would you cook with it? I'd braise some pork in it. Yeah. The braised okay. pork yeah. would be really good. Yeah, actually, I can see that. But... It's almost a sauce on its own. 
<laughs> so it's heavy. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy. It feels like a like a seven percent beer. Mm -hmm. Like you, it, it's just. No, it's, I've had I've had um, Tokyo from Brewdog. Brewdog, yeah. Yeah, it's like eighteen yeah. percent. Is it eighteen? It's, it's eighteen. 15. It's eighteen. The one I got was eighteen. It's, it depends on the year mm. that you have because it's it's hard to brew beer that. I had it in Scotland, and they can only give you a third of a pint yeah. because of uh, beer drinking laws it's, in Scotland. <laughs> it's technically liquor. <laughs> it's technically liquor, point. yeah. But it's it's weird because it's it's heavy. It is heavy. But it's it's not like a barley wine like you'd expect. No, it's still it doesn't permanent. have the wine flavor. And it's still very very uh, bubbly. This is. And it, it kind of reminds me. This of that. kind of reminds. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a barley wine. But not in a bad way. This reminds me of the good things in barley Yeah, wine. yeah. Without that vinegary. Without goodness. the vinegar. Yeah. So the first time I had barley wine, I was like, Did you just give me what malt, the hell is this? Did you just give me malt it's vinegar in a glass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, should I put this on a salad or drink it in a glass? Should I dip my fish in this? <laughs> yeah. 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 This is, Where, where's this the, is good. This is good. Nice. It, is, it is a really good beer. But on a scale of pumpkin. I think it's definitely going here. It's more pumpkin. You think it's more, more pumpkin than It's that more pumpkin than that one. I didn't taste any pumpkin. Because I well, this one you true. Can this one didn't it. have any spice, and this one yeah. I can at least taste the cinnamon. But you can get, you can get the pumpkin if you you have to search real hard for it. Yeah, because even in this one, if you looked, you couldn't find pumpkin. You couldn't find spice. This was very mild, very amber. It like amber. It was a nice amber. amber ale that you would have on a nice crisp fall day. Sitting by a fire in a pub. This one, same thing, but yeah. <laughs> but has more pumpkin flavor to it. Like, Definitely. I would drink this by a campfire for sure. Oh, like, yeah. this is a campfire beer. Oh yeah. Um, but it's not a pumpkin. Real good it's, it's smoked meat. It's a good winter beer. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just. I don't think they should release it in October. I think it should be a. It should be. I think this should be an, a winter beer. Yeah. I would drink this as a winter. This one is the only pumpkin one we've actually had. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so what, we gave this one a two. Yep. We gave that one a low one, a low, low one. Yeah. So, and we gave this one, I gave it a four, you gave it a three and a half. Mm -hmm. So this is what, a three for you? Cause you yeah, put it, I'll, call, I'll give it a three for pumpkin. I think for pumpkinness, I gave it a two and a half. However, for... Because I had to look for it, a beer and I'm still for, to find it. For a, a stout in general, that's Oh yeah, if we were just... Ranking them, I mean the same. Yeah. If I was just ranking this on an ale, oh, I'd yeah. give it a four. If I was just or four or three, exactly. or if so I was ranking this just on a beer, these three are all really good beers. They're good beers. They're really good beers. If um, you want a pumpkin beer, if you want a pumpkin beer, this is the one. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Not the rest of these not are not. Not at all. Which I can see why yeah, it's the most popular. Yeah, it's the most popular one to do. Because it tastes like pumpkin. Yeah. Well, we haven't tried the great pumpkin. But That's true. We're who missing knows? a lot of Asian <laughs> beers. Maybe we should do an yeah. Asian episode. We could do an Asian episode if we've got enough of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I don't know. I'm I've kind of I'm kind of disappointed in it as a pumpkin beer. I'm happy with it as a beer. Yeah. But as a pumpkin beer, I'm disappointed. Definitely. So I think we should um, take a quick break and clean our glasses, have a quick chat, overall sum everything up. Um, so our final thoughts, our final ranking, we gave that one a one, or a less than one, because, uh... It's garbage. It's not good. It's not. It's not. It's not. Don't buy. It's not. Don't buy. <laughs> Don't buy. Buy their other beers, though. Okay, I haven't had their other ones. Maybe we'll do their other ones at another, yeah. at another point in time. I'm not judging the entire, the company on that one beer. I am. <laughs> I'm not, but I am at the same time. It's Colorado. Colorado, they don't they don't grow pumpkins. I'm judging right? Colorado on that beer. <laughs> All of Colorado, Colorado, I'm judging you on that beer, and it's bland AF. I know, I know Colorado, if you're not bland. I know a lot of right? people in Colorado. Are you bland? They're not Colorado bland. bland. They're not bland. Why is your beer bland? Why is your beer bland, Colorado? Yeah. It's bad. Take it back. Try again. again. And, and your beer Watch sucks. Watch your language. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Language. Try again, Colorado. Okay. All of Colorado. Yeah, just try again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All y'all, try again. Okay. Less than one. Yes. This one. Two. 
I think it's a we solid two. We gave it about a two. Yeah, solid two. Solid two. two. But it's, it's far away from that one because that's less than that, the one. This one's just not good. <laughs> yeah, just, this is a beer. It's not pumpkin-y. That's not even a beer. That's just... It's, it's, it's old coffee. It's coffee water. It's old coffee. It's coffee water. It's old coffee water. Yeah. It's... I wouldn't even call it an alcoholic beverage. I've had espresso cocktails with more flavor than that. Fair enough. I mean, it is alcoholic regardless, but I would... I wouldn't... Call it. If someone offered it to me, I would be like, thank you, I appreciate it, but I wouldn't enjoy it. And I would not go out to looking for that beer. Yeah. This one I'd go, I'd go maybe looking for, but not as a pumpkin beer. Like... Yeah. This one is a solid two because it's not pumpkin-y. It's a good beer and I enjoyed it. And I could probably drink, I could probably drink a couple of those in an hour. Yeah. Happily. Yeah. And feel not too heavy, not too bloated and gross. And, but it's not a pumpkin beer. It's not. For sure. Yeah. It, it, does, it doesn't have any pumpkinness to it. Yeah. There's no so pumpkin. It's, it tastes more like an amber. Yeah. To me. It's a good amber though. It's yeah. as an amber. Like if I were to just rank it in a scale of ambers. My favorite amber is like um, the one that uh, Headworks has. Is my favorite amber probably right now. Oh, yeah. My favorite local one. Like the, the railroad red. Railroad, yeah. yeah. Which is an amber or a red. They're pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Um. 5 a.m. Saint from Brewdog is like my all-time favorite amber, um, and then uh, what's the other one? Alaska, Alaskan amber is okay. pretty good. Those are probably my top favorite easily attainable ambers. Mm -hmm. I would put this up there with it. Like I would choose this one so, as an amber. I don't think it meant to be. I don't think it's supposed <laughs> to be an amber, <laughs> but it tastes like an amber. It does. Yeah. Um, this one. So we gave this one what, like a three and a half, four? Three and a half, four. Four, it's pumpkininess. Yeah. It's, we it's gave it, there, well, the two but and a half. Quite. Two and a half, three, right? We gave Somewhere the, around we gave three, because this one we gave like a three and a half. Four. Yeah, that's true, yeah. We so we gave it about three. So we gave it about three because it, it's not. I had to look for the pumpkin, and I'm yeah, still having problems finding it. You really gotta search for it. You gotta search for it. It's, it's like I'm there, my second, but not quite. I'm my second half pint, yeah, and I'm still struggling to find it. It's mid swallow, so it's like we were. You're pulling that Wait, liquid you like down your throat. Your breath while you're trying to it's like where you're, you're pulling the liquid down your throat and it's, it's still on your tongue, but you're still swallowing. You're swallowing it. It's like right there, and then you get a little bit of pumpkin in this. That's not my favorite way to drink pumpkin is. No, no, it should be <laughs> no. pumpkin. Yeah. With some I want pumpkin forward beers yeah. when I'm drinking pumpkin ales. Definitely. Like, I, I can drink ales any time of the year. I can only drink pumpkin ales mm. a couple times a year. Yeah. One time a year. I say a couple, but I mean one. <laughs> one time a year. One time a year. <laughs> for a couple months. One season. One one time a year for a couple months. Um, and I don't think I would choose this one as my pumpkin ale of choice. Definitely. Well, stout. Pumpkin stout of choice. Yeah. I think that would be this one. A pumpkin stout? No. This, <laughs> this would be the one I would choose as my pumpkin yeah, ale of choice. Yeah, definitely. Pumpkin ale. This one here. Yeah. Night owl. Is... Out of the four we, we tested today is the most popular. And, and it's the cheapest. It was yeah. one ninety nine for this um, twelve ounce bottle, and it was what three ninety nine for the twenty two ounce. It was like five forty five. But yeah, it was somewhere between four and five dollars yeah. for the for the twenty two ounce for the same one, and this was ten dollars. This was nine forty nine. Yeah. This one was what seven six something. It was like six fifty. Yeah, and then that one was like four. So, it, I mean, price wise, it shouldn't be better than this one. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it it torn. Price wise, like the cheapest one was, was our favorite. Yeah. Which, I don't know what that means. Yeah, but, you, can get, uh, you can get a six pack of that for. Eight nine dollars. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. Eight ninety nine at, at total. What was it at? It's usually that at Safeway. Safeway. I thought Safeway had it for eleven. It depends on the day, say for I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Beer, so beer's expensive. You enough, enough. <laughs> but Didn't use I would no. When I left for the UK in two thousand fourteen it was like six ninety nine for a six pack of blue moon. Yeah. They now want they like, want you to spend like ten dollars for kit for six pack of shock top. Shock top. Ten dollars? Come on. Yeah. It's one of the beers I introduced you to because they were cheap. Oh yeah. It's a good beer. Beer's up in prices. Okay. Yeah, everything is except for gas. Gas is down from what it was when I was younger. <laughs> yep. Who knows? Um, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Um, mm -hmm. 
The only pumpkin forward one was Night Owl. Yep. This is still a great beer, though. It's a great beer. This is a great beer. But it's not pumpkin forward. Not pumpkin. If you this, want pumpkin. Yes. But, like... You could make like a caramel sauce and like glaze some like roasted be a perfect, vegetables be with it. It would be sauce. really good. It'd be really like, good for sauce. Really good to glaze roasted vegetables vegetables with. Like oh, yeah. some parsnip roasted with that would be so good. I hate parsnip. I love parsnip. Parsnip tastes like <laughs> it literally tastes like gun cleaner. I hate You've it. You've never had it cooked correctly though. Maybe that's it. Uh, this would be really good with roasted vegetables. Oh, like a Brussels sprout glaze. With like a little bit of sriracha, yeah, sprouts. like a little bit of spice mixed yeah. with that would be really good. I wouldn't do sriracha though. Maybe not sriracha, but a little bit of a, of a heat. Like it needs some heat and it'd be really good sauce. Yeah, well, I'm not a big cayenne. Cayenne and chocolate. It's really good. Okay. Well, that's, that's why are you going? Because it goes up to the top. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the um, top and turn it up. Or yeah, that's. I think final thoughts are best beer. Don't buy. Don't, don't buy. Don't buy. Don't buy. Um, let us know in the comments what your favorite pumpkin ale is, or if you like pumpkin ale. If you hate pumpkin ale, tell us. If you hated this video, tell us. If mm -hmm. you like this video, let us know. Yes. If, if there's anything you think we can improve on, let us know. Let us know. We know what we can improve on, but yeah. let us know. Yes. <laughs> All right. I hope it narrowed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get better as we go along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll see you next time with uh, maybe some Marsons. Slancha. Slancha.